walking in power. I'm walking a miracle. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracle. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Take a look. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. See his glory. I know who I am. Yes. Do you really know who you are? This is Dr. Helen Horisha Jaffo on Possibility Time today. Hey, has it ever come into your mind? Who am I? Am I enough? The question again, who am I? Am I enough? Oftentimes, we tend to second guess ourselves. We allow others dictate how we feel, who we are, and what we represent. But if you really want to be anything in life, you really, know to, you really need to know that you are enough. Yes, you are enough, baby. There are no to you. You are simply unique. You are wonderful and you are beautiful. No wonder the Bible says that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Yes, there are no to you. Now, what are the things that you need to do to bring up your confidence level? Because it's important. The number one thing, wherever you're watching, is that you need to be grateful to God for who you are. You're good enough. If God wanted to make you a, a fair in complexion lady, or whoever you are at all, he would have done that. But he didn't. He chose to make you a chocolate lady. And so you're good enough for that. If he wanted you to be short or tall, he would have done that. Whatever you are right now is good enough. A, you are enough. Number two, rec recognize and celebrate your present victory or your past victories. It is always important to be appreciative or to at least give yourself some level of kudos even when you have achieved something in life. It goes a long way in reassuring you and it's also giving you some level of boost that will encourage you to always believe in who you are because again, you are enough. Number three, it is important that you also set a goal for yourself. Now in setting a goal, this is not to say that you're not enough. You're simply improving on the you, the real you that is already enough, can be improved on. There is nothing bad about that. If it is anything at all, it makes you better. And it has a way of enhancing your confidence as well. So the you that is enough can polish yourself up by enrolling in any, you know, tertiary education just to make yourself better. There are online courses now that you can easily do even where you are at the back side of your home and no one would even know but you have acquired some level of knowledge. You are enough. The other aspect of this that you also need to look at is the fact that, okay, the fact that you have life it's more than enough for you. You have life, so you are enough. Those who are beautiful, that have missed what of today, Miss Nigeria, wherever you're watching, maybe Miss South Africa, Miss Ghana, that might have died one way or the other. But you are alive, so that's a good thing. You are enough. And so if you are enough, what do you do with yourself then? Oh, walk confidently, embrace life in totality, and pursue your purpose. Because in pursuing your purpose, there is no stopping you. You are good enough. No wonder Sinaj says, I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracle. I live a life of favor because I know who I am. By simply knowing who you are, of course, tell you that you are enough. It is possibility time 
always remember that in all things, God is more than able to make things work out for you. You are enough. Because in God, all things are possible. I love you. Mwah! The enough lady and the enough man.